this video I'm going to show you how you plot a basic best fit line using OpenOffice Calc. So to do this we've got two sets of data this is the X values and the Y values of our graph. So to start we want to highlight the data that we want to plot with the X values on the first column and the Y values in the second column. Once the data is highlighted click insert and then chart and it will automatically default to this silly bar graph. But we want an XY scatter, or otherwise known as just a scatter graph. These options are no good, this just gives you some ridiculous joining the dots idea, none of which is any use. No scientist or engineer would ever consider doing such a silly graph. So stick with the plain points only graph and just click finish. So now we have all of our points. So let's click one of the points and then right click, click insert trend line. This will open this box up. Various different um, fits that you can apply, linear, logarithmic, exponential or power series, whichever you feel fits the data best. Clearly for this data, a linear, not just a line, fits the data pretty well. You've also got these options down here. We'll show the equation and we'll show the coefficient of determination, this R squared value, which shows you how good a plot your data is. Now let's look at the other options. You can use this to change how your graph looks, should you so wish. So let's just click OK. So you'll notice this appears but that doesn't look very good. There's just an insane number of decimal places. You would never think of handing in something so silly. So if you right click on that box and then click on Format Trend Line Equation and then we click Numbers, this will give you various other formats and I would suggest this one is probably the most appropriate. This will show some decimal places um, which is probably the best format, but you can play around with this and see which looks the best for what you're doing. So click OK, and now that looks far more reasonable. And just, um, to finish off, just explain what this R squared value is very, very simply. If that number is 1, then your fit is perfect. The smaller that number is, the worse the best fit line. So if R squared is very, very low, then your data is not linear. If that was point 0.1 then the points in the line would just not look at all similar. The line would look completely ridiculous. So this fit as you can see is very good and R squared is very high. So there you go that's how you plot a best fit line using OpenOffice Calc and I hope you found that very simple. Thank you for watching.